Okay, so I had a couple of individuals ask me a question like this, which I understand why this could be confusing, but it's a combination of just understanding not only the right triangle trigonometry, you know, uh, which, you know, stems from Sokotoa. And that's another video in itself. I'm assuming that we know this. And knowledge of your quadrants on the unit circle. So different people approach this different ways. Um, I'm going to show you one particular approach. So, all right. So we have if tangent of x is equal to negative 3 fourths. So we're given a trigonometric function equal to a ratio. And if basically x is between... 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi, find the remaining five trig functions. So what I'm going to do is anytime you're given a nice, clean, straight lines, but anytime you're given a trigonometric function, you can always draw a right triangle, right? Always. That's basically where it's from. Now, where is the triangle that I'm going to draw? So this part here is going to indicate the quadrant that I'm going to draw the triangle. And be careful how you draw this triangle. Um, I'm going to be specific as to, you know, uh, where the right angle will be located. So 3 pi over 2, if you guys remember, when you're talking about the unit circle, when you're talking about angles, um, we always go counterclockwise for positive angles. 0 in radians, pi over 2. This is pi, 3 pi over 2, and one full revolution, 2 pi. And then obviously we can continue forever if we want. I don't need to keep going. I know I'm between 3 pi over 2 and 2 pi, so I'm in quadrant 4. So the triangle that I'm going to draw that satisfies this condition is in quadrant 4. So here's the triangle. And when you're doing it this way, with this particular method, you always draw the right triangle to the horizontal axis. Regardless of where this triangle is located, which quadrant, the right angle is always to the, to the horizontal axis, always to the X. You're never making the right angle to the Y. So it's like this is the angle that I'm referring to in the right triangle that satisfies this. This is kind of like the X. So <clears throat> if tangent of X is negative 3 fourths, I know that tangent is opposite over adjacent, but I'm in quadrant four. So the opposite is the negative, adjacent is the positive. Now I wouldn't typically draw negatives on a triangle, but the negatives are just indicating where I'm located, okay? That's just gonna help me with my signs, S-I-G-N, <laughs> my signs when I do the other trigonometric functions. So you'll see what I mean. Again, this is one approach. Um, and hopefully you guys recognize that if I have a right triangle where the legs are three and four, then the hypotenuse is automatically five. It's a three, four, five special right triangle. And if I didn't remember that, Pythagorean theorem will give me that. I have everything I need now to figure out the rest of the trigonometric functions. Sine of X. Um, uh, do I have space? Cosine of X, I guess. Um, let's go there. Sine of X. So of Sokotoa is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is negative three, hypotenuse is five. And I want you to recognize the fact that sine, the trigonometric function of sine in quadrant four is negative. That, that follows suit with what the uh, signs S-I-G-N are supposed to be. Um, by the way, if you're drawing this right triangle, the hypotenuse will never be negative, okay? Technically, no sides of a triangle are negative, but again, I'm just writing the negative to indicate quadrant location, and I will never put that on the hypotenuse, okay? It's always the legs. Um, so cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and it makes sense that cosine should be positive in quadrant four. Um, let's do the, the uh, inverse of sine. I'm sorry, the reciprocal function of sine, which is cosecant of x. Once I know sine, I know cosecant, negative 5 thirds. And then the reciprocal of cosine is secant. So once I know cosine, I know secant, flip, cosine. I already know tangent. They gave me tangent. But if I didn't, opposite over adjacent. And then once I know that cotangent is easy, I just flip tangent. And I have the rest of my trigonometric functions with their proper signs because I'm in quadrant four. And again, you know, sine over cosine. Here's another 
trick sine over cosine is equal to tangent. So a negative over a positive should be negative. So I'm constantly verifying things that I do with all the knowledge that I have trigonometric functions. So I hope that helps. This is just one method, um, drawing the triangle in the actual quadrant that you are told it is located. Otherwise, you'd have to really understand and know what the signs of the trigonometric functions are based on quadrant that way. Whatever works for you, let me know if this helps.